Yeah, okay, action, real life, no acting This is not a rerun, we really what's happening Lashana the headline, she the main attraction LJ, baby, and me, we just a casting Shannon family matters, the household name I hope you get the picture, with or without the frame You may agree to disagree on how we do things It all register, we know we do for change But, but on the hunch, this is not your Brady Bunch It's no script, no pretending, no kind of stunt This is the ups and downs, real deal, one on one Appreciate all the love everywhere it's coming from and that's that, so welcome to a real show Uncensored, blood raw, wretched and cut though This is not your regular, ordinary show This in the family matters, not the winds lows, what? I don't know, I just picked it up Good morning, <laughs> guys like Happy uh, Memorial Day we, Happy we birthday to me to get off, so um, down, uh, We just right got ready City Hall, to leave at me. NYC And head back to JFK Get on this plane back to Orlando. We had a great, great, great time. I appreciate New Yorkers for appreciating me. I appreciate our family members for supporting us all through this weekend. Um, our family members who actually showed up at the Red Sales or who actually was able to show up. Um, and yeah, thanks, Shan, for this trip, man, and everything, bro. It was a great experience, great walking experience more than anything. <laughs> Cause the nigga done walked the marathon around goddamn New York. We felt like we lived here. Shan say, what, 12th and 50, 42 and 12th. Like, she know what the fuck she's talking about. That's how how quick we mastered the streets in um, Times Square, which is, is great. Shan is a fucking GPS, DEA, FBI, everything, bro. Because we found out everything through her ways to get around the city. You feel me? Finding fucking bitches' names and everything. Of who we looking for, the face we need to see if we don't know the name, you know. It's just so much going on in, in uh, Times Square that y'all know. You feel me? Like trying to find Waldo. We found Waldo every fuck time. So it was all good. Um, great experience, like I said. Now we about to head back to our hometown, Orlando, and um, Pray for us on this flight back, and we'll see y'all on the plane, hopefully, if they let me. This time, we sit by the window, so we're going to try to look out the window with y'all, you feel me? So, see y'all on the plane. Welcome back to JFK Airline. We had to walk partially in the rain to get under this blue tent and take it all the way to Terminal 2 in this nasty ass weather, man. And which we didn't have to do when we got here, but I guess it's because we took the air train and it was the air train was right there. That's why, Shane. Yeah, we was at Terminal 1. We got to take Terminal 2 back. So we got to cross again and get wet up a little bit. So. We'll see y'all inside. As you guys can see, we got the seat window, but by the goddamn all of my damn there. Yeah. But we flying Delta though. I'm ready to go home, guys. Because it's been a long two days. My feet hurt. I have a blister on my toe. Um, 
I was in love with the city life, but I think I'm ready to go back home <laughs> to be lazy and be in my car. <laughs> no? Where did you put my gun? Where did you put it? I can't say that at one more. I know she came around here with some stuff. It's not mine. That's yeah, it's mine. I, oh. I, I sit with you. Oh, okay. Um. This guy here, we felt every no, motherfucking thing. No, I know. We hit every motherfucking cloud. We felt that was the <laughs> it. was fucking crazy. But anyway, I'm glad we made it. We prayed. We need to pray once we land. It got there. We, for real, for real. Um, but yeah, we was ready to get the hell off that plane. And we off it. So um, we here now. And we got to go home, unpack, embrace our home, embrace our cars. In our own driving. I'm supposed to go get LJ. We gotta see where he at real quick. Baby will remain with her auntie in Fort Lauderdale. We'll probably get her this weekend. But we'll see y'all in a minute. We 
finally home after five motherfucking Ubers we had to cancel because they act like they didn't know where the fuck they was at or knew how to come get us or whatever the case may be. I finally got some guy. He came through. The last guy was like the sixth one. Yep. <laughs> Bitch, we was at the airport for like two hours, bro. After yep. arriving at the airport in Orlando two yep. hours prior. Fucked up. Fuck that was the worst shit ever. That's that's what we missed about goddamn New, New York. York. They was on fucking time. As soon as I walked work? out the door, the motherfucker yeah. right there, like damn bitch, I take all you. That's yeah. what we missed already. That's bullshit. We was catered to when we was in New York. Yeah, right? that we was catered to. <laughs> for real, for real. On Everything was right shit. there in in the in the vicinity of where you want to go. You want dinner, you go there. You want to go shopping, you is right Fuck there. That. I'm talking about the forest, the, the Ubers, fucking yeah. fucking cars coming to pick up. But when up. they came here to pick us up, it was good. It was on, I don't know what the fuck. It was just had some other people today, but it's all good. Um, so we just been relaxed, y'all, and it ain't goodbye. See you later. We'll see y'all tomorrow, man. Bye. Hi, guys. Welcome back to Shannon's Family Matter. On this episode of Shannon's Family Matter, me and LJ is going to have dinner. That's right. I said it. We're going to have dinner. Just me and him. Dad's at work. Finally back at work. Um, so yeah, it's just going to be me and him. We're going to go have fun. A little steak and fries. Guys, join us for dinner tonight. All right? Let's go. Do not step in your daddy's seat. You sitting back there for real? Yeah. Why? Because you parked so far over here. Okay, so just wait till Let's you Let's take a trip. Get from the back seat. I really don't feel like moving. That's just so trifling. Put on your seatbelt. Trifling, okay. I called you trifling. No, I don't know what it means, but. You don't know what trifling means? Nope, but I'll be glad to shut it up, y'all. We're on our way to Outback. Right, LJ? Mm -hmm. Did you lock the door? Mm -hmm. I thought you did that. Mm, I did not. You were the last one out. Why would I lock the door? I mean, you can still lock it. Are you excited, LJ? Like, Are you excited for dinner? I've been there like eight times already. Are you excited for dinner with me? Sure. Without MJ? Sure. And Daddy? Yeah. That means no, he took so long to say that. You got just one dollars? We gotta go back again. Oh, you left that on purpose, I no, think. No, I didn't. I meant to grab it. I forgot. I'm thinking I wore the pants because they're my black pants. Why don't you just go back over here? Just owe me later. Oh, well, then we could just go buy a pack of chicken and I could cook. Maybe I just wanted to spend time with you. Did you ever think of that? No? Yeah, All right, y'all, we about to head into Outback. And you better not tell her no either. You you at your mama house, you got she got water. So me and Andre about to go in Outback. I have Mother, son, dinner. We'll see y'all inside. So, if you were to become better at baseball, would you go for baseball over football? To be honest, I would probably choose basketball or football. Yeah. A lot of injuries. Football? Yeah, like head injuries go insane. You know, a lot of those people do? A lot of middle linebackers that don't play around. Do you know a lot of those people don't have head problems, like mentally? Yeah, that's why that's why they hurt their kids. They like glasses or they hurt themselves. That's why I said the first time I hurt something, you know, like my leg or something, or on the baseball you want So that's like on football. So base basketball, if you get hurt, you still get paid. Football, you get hurt, you get cut. You don't. They don't care. The history. Don't care. I mean, unless you're like, you like unless you're Owens, unless you're Owens, you are Owens. Popular. So 
Doors ACL done. The nigga had so many people, like, had won so many touch. He got so many touch, I got so many games to these people. I know. And they cut him. They wouldn't even let the man heal. They got him healed for a training, but if they gave him a good money, he wasn't back in time. Got him. Wasting my money. I can get fresh legs. I can get fresh legs. I can get out of college. Seeing basketball is a little bit harder because you don't get hurt as that, but you still they like to see the players because they they know they come back stronger. Right. I mean that's the same thing with that's why Adrian Peterson did. Yeah. It's so hard. I I just say you really need Adrian Peterson. That's the only reason why they kept him around. I don't think he around. More time let's come from the I thought he left. Yeah, he did. That's when I said, oh, this I won't get fired. Yeah. I thought he retired. They said he retired. Yeah, he retired, but, um, he decided to come up, but he said he wants to play his home side. He retired, he took a raise. That's where he did that. Yeah. 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 I think that he retired because he really didn't want the spotlight. He just really wanted to play football. He didn't want to do interviews, he didn't want people to know yeah. his life, he didn't want to do, and you know that's required, interviews. Yeah. That's why I said, that's why I said, uh, you have to talk. So that's why he just said, I'm just here. Yeah, so, so yeah, I'm here, so I'm going to get fired. <laughs> that's crazy. Because if you don't, if you don't talk, you, you get fired. That's interesting, but they should respect that. Most people don't want to do this part, like they don't want to do interviews, they just want to do their job and go home. I guess to say he lost the love for it. In my opinion, oh, I just feel like doing recording. Oh, yeah, he, he he retired and came back because that money got low. <laughs> or he retired and came back. So, yeah. I guess so. it's probably because he he probably wanted to play. Like he said, he was training with them right now. It was on Instagram. He was training with them already. That's crazy. That's like uh, Reggie Prejudice. Yeah. Can he go to Dolphins? Well, they're not there right now. They gotta run back. Get out of here. Look how open it is. So he can see 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 how open it is. Or maybe you think they is he going back? Or maybe he's just training with them to not lose his talent. No, Marshawn needs to rise and open That's the open way of them. My home, my guy, uh, my friend guy, he paid for Raiders. Gerald Strong, he only paid for a season. He didn't pay for a long time. What's going on? He's a tidy up man. We got steak and fries. Oh, they got steak and fries. We're about to grab y'all. guys we're back home and I'm about to hop in a shower braid my hair back so I can get these little waves again and get ready for bed and it's been nice and we will see you guys again another day bye good morning you guys just got home from work I know y'all enjoyed the dinner date that Shan and LJ had that's a good look you feel me? They need that them long time ago times. 
Oh, baby came. So LJ won't feel left out being that MJ came and feel like he ain't getting the love that he was once getting. That was a good look. I love that they did that. Um, I was at work getting it in, trying to get this money back after spending at New York like crazy. I was on a fort lift today, no select no more. It's official. I'm a fort lift yes, guy. I still get paid for production. It's still a production thing as far as percentage wise. It's, uh, it goes on how many drops I get an hour to um, determine my percentage or whatever the case may be. And the money's still good. So I ain't got to worry about my hand getting fucked up no more, my back, my neck hurt, like nothing, bro. For real, that's love. Bro. I mean, I'm almost there for a year now. Um, and shit happened for me quicker than I thought. You feel me? I'm moving up. That thing's gonna be managing over Fort Lil soon, dude. You feel me? I'm trying to get up there, man. Cause like I said, I've been doing selecting over 10 years, bro. Over 10 years. Not 10 years, over 10 years. That was my first job when I was 18. I was in the warehouse, you feel me? So, um, I'm done with that selecting shit, man. Like, I gotta leave that for the young Thundercats, you feel me? The ones who just coming in uh, 19, 20, 21, you know. And they prime, they need to do that lifting shit. Boy, I'm 32 now, boy. Hey, I'm not trying to make it seem like I'm that old, but I'm old. You feel me? I'm down there midway 40s. So, shit. So I'm trying to stop doing that. I'm trying to advance in a job, you feel me, for a career. And hopefully, you know what I mean, I start to be manager when I sit behind the desk and they pushing nothing but papers. You feel me? I'm trying to advance, bro, bro. For real. But anyway... That's my life now. I'm finna um, shower and then eat. As y'all can see, he got a lid on top of his shit. So he can't get out with a weight. Because that nigga there, hey, he probably be a, a bodybuilder back in his day too. So I made sure I put a weight on top so he cannot lift that bitch up. He won't have no sense if he try. Because he's going to knock it all out of damn head trying to knock it off. So yeah, man. Um, shit real, man. I'm missing baby. Might have to go get her last tomorrow, bro. Like, for real, though. Tell Shane or get her Friday. Tell Shane when she get off early to go snatch her. Tell her sister to meet her halfway. I miss my baby. So, that's what it is, man. But I'm about to, um, like I said, shower, eat, get some rest for tomorrow. I'm on the fourth left again. So, that's a good look, bro. I'm happy as fuck. I ain't touched no case tonight. They looking like, bro, you ain't selecting? Hell no. Nah. I'm done. They like... They like, oh, uh, I'm a trader and shit. Talking shit to me every time they come around. Hey, it's all good, man. For real, for real. I'm trying to, I'm trying to do better. If you knew better, you do better. That's what I'm telling them boys. Hey, shit, bitch. Try to move up in the company. Y'all want to remain selected. Don't get mad when the next man move up. You feel me? Be happy for the nigga. You feel me? I'd have been happy for them if they would have went up. I'd say that's what's up, bro, bro. Keep it up. Shit, I'd have, that would have made me more determined to move myself up and not that selecting position. But, hell, don't talk about it if you ain't going to be about it. And I'm being about it. I told them boys I was going to um, be a Fort Love guy soon, bro. I wasn't playing. I was already in training. I already got my license. I'm certified. So, shit, I told them boys when I first came in for the interview, bitch. I went on the Fort Love because I told them boys that what I wanted to do. But I just had to get my way in the door by selecting first, and which is what I did, and, and gradually moved up. So that's what it is. But that's what it is, man. Um, that's what it is. I'm tired, bro. But I'm finna go ahead and do what I gotta do. I'll let y'all tomorrow. I'm just checking in, letting y'all know that um, what my job looking like now. You feel me? My advance, mint in the company. So it's all good. But uh, I see y'all tomorrow, man. It's 7.45 in the morning. You guys can't really see the rain, but you can hear it. I'm just praying my baby make it to work. Safe and sound. That's why I'm up right now this early. Waiting to hear from her. Really getting it out here. We needed it, because if not, we would have had a goddamn forest fire around here. All the guys, they're upset because I don't select no more. So when they see me on the fort, they want me to get off or they hating on me. 
It's all good and it's all love. It's just like a nigga selecting more. Cause I do my thing, you feel me? And it helps out a lot. But like I told him, bro, I can't live shit my whole life, bro. I've been doing it since I was 18. I'm done with that part of the fucking warehouse, bro. I had to step up. I had to upgrade myself, you feel me, move up in the company. Before you know it, I'd probably be a Fort Lil fucking manager, you feel me? Because I'm doing good, I'm advancing quick, you feel me? I only been there for almost a year now, you feel me, as far as at that warehouse. Because as y'all know, back in the other vlogs, I had transferred to this new warehouse from the distance I was driving, which was Plant City, for my other warehouse. Moving up like George and Wheezy, fast as fuck, it's all good. But yeah, um... Anyways, uh, I understand make it to work on time and safe. That's why I'm up, just chilling, waiting on her to give me that um green light that she made it. And then I will be going to sleep because um, on top of that, my shoes is coming today, man. I was so thrilled and fascinated in New York at um Flight Club seeing all the new J's exclusively that didn't come out in Florida yet. Man, when I got home, I actually went online and ordered it. I a okay it with Shan. She was good with me getting them, because as you know, them shit's like $300, but hell, I'm getting them before we hit the state. You feel me? Again. So, my joys that's coming, I'm going to let y'all send when they arrive. I ain't going to tell y'all what they are, but just know that they ain't coming out until two months from now. You feel me? In Florida. They already out in NYC. But they're not out here. So I'm going to be the first one in my state of Florida with these fucking J's, bro. Um, I had to pay the extra money because, as you know, you feel me? Closed legs don't get fed. <laughs> you feel me? So wide open right now. I'm going to get my shit. And motherfuckers going to be like, how the fuck you got those? Yeah, bitch, hey. Hey, my girl made it possible for me. She said it was okay for me to spin the green. She chipped in with me and hell. That was another gift under my belt. She know I wanted them, so I, I got them. It is what it is. But I, as y'all know, I'm a Jordan fanatic, so that's how that goes. So I'm going to let y'all see those when they arrive. And uh, yeah, i see y'all then. Um, I'm going to go check my phone to make sure my baby made it to work. Good morning, you guys. I'm up just to let you know. That Shane did make it to work on time, in safe, unscathed, as well as my car, because <laughs> she's driving my car. They both made it to work on time and safe. So that's that. That's a good thing. First and foremost, that she was safe. I can get another car, but I can't get another Shannon. Neither can you guys. So yeah, I'm blessed for that, because it was storming. And now let me check and see if my shoes been delivered. Which means that's on my doorstep, so let me go see. LJ! LJ! Finna clothesline this nigga. LJ, don't get your ass up the first time. Ain't nobody tell you to go to sleep like 8 o'clock in the morning. Pulling the 24 hour. Go take your dog out. So, yes, as you guys can see, I got my motherfucking package. I'm so motherfucking happy it was all wet up, because as y'all know, it was raining, but my. Shoes better not be wet up, and it better be the right damn shoe, and they both better match. It better not be one size bigger than the other. You feel me? My uh, Jordan sign better not look like he got a tennis ball in his hand or a golf ball. Um, I better not see all five of his fingers. You know, shit like that. Goddamn shoes better be on his feet. Daddy. I'm just saying. It better not be no fake Jordan, long story I'll short. I'll take that. And baby gonna get the box. I already know she's ready for this box. That's why she's sitting here. They just woke up. Y'all can see that I just woke them up. In the LJ. Okay. Moment. 
we all been waiting for. Then the box just fell apart, baby. So it's raining, so the shit just all kind of wet up. The box ain't wet up the inside, that's a good thing. Yep, got size seven. Let's just make sure the shoe is size seven, because this size, the shoe could be a size five or some shit. Oh my God. Oh. Ew. <laughs> it's you, dude. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. They're here. Bruh. Hey, man. These shits ain't even that yet in Florida, bruh. Let's keep, let's keep it 100. Let's keep it, keep it short and sweet. But let's put it out there, bruh. These is not out in Florida like I said before, bruh. These are not here, so I'm super excited, my nigga. I might just wear this shit one time a day to work just so this boy can be like, damn, bro, they may come out yet. I know. You feel me? And the only way you're going to get these exclusives is if you pay extra money that you would normally pay. Y'all already know how flight club roll. Y'all know the prices in that motherfucking store for everybody that live in New York. Prices sky high, nigga. You got to have sky high money to fuck with these type of shoes, bro. And my nigga. Yes. I got them. The Bread 13, bruh. As you can see, it's definitely official. So you won't think I'm lying. Can y'all see that? Flight Club. It's not a game, bruh. Really real. Oh my God. <sighs> Motherfucking Bread, bruh. Definitely a size 7. They're smooth. Holy crap. I always wanted these since school days, bro. My parents couldn't afford them. I seen all these other kids with them, like my homeboys. You feel me? I don't know if their parents was trapping back then or whatever the case may be, but them boys used to have like every pair of Jordans that's retro hot. You feel me? That everybody always wanted. I could never get them because my parents was less fortunate than other parents were, which still, I'm still good because I know how to live humble and I know how to live without money, you know what I mean? And I can survive with money, you know what I mean? I know how to manage it. And so I'm, I'm proud of I had the parents I had that wasn't so given because I know what it's like not to have and I can do without, you feel me, and go without and survive still, so it's all good. But right now I'm fortunate, you feel me? My kid's fortunate, so we get them. This is what it is. You feel me, LJ, he can't handle shoes like this, bruh. So he get his type of shoes, he get. But I just don't get him these outrageous joints like this because he like he, he, <laughs> like he don't bit all on the shoe screen when he had shoes like these. Shits be all chewed up, I don't know how. You feel me? But he get the shoes that he need to get. Let's just put it like that. He get Jordans, but he don't just get the expensive, expensive because... He a rough kid, you know, and you know, he will mess him up in a couple days. But he kept a couple of shoes lately on um, good, so he might get one. It depends on what he want though. It's all good. If he look on the site and he see what he want on there, you feel me? He'll get them. Y'all already know how I roll. I talk shit, but I still get them for him, so it's all good, whatever the case may be. But yeah, man, 13 breads that has yet to fall in Florida. They're not out, in other words. I'm the first one in Florida with them. You feel me? But anyway, that's enough about the shoes. I know y'all gonna say, oh, you need to have a, a shoe uh, video. Jordan collection video. I'm gonna make one. Just let me still get my shoe game up a little bit. My shit up, though. But I'm just gonna chill, you feel me? Because I might see some more shit on there that I want. And then I've been on show you all the, all the shoes. And then I've been on cop some more. Now I gotta reshow them. I uh, mean, I'm gonna show it all at one time. But it's all good. Thanks to Shan and myself. Got my shoes I wanted. Uh, we gonna go ahead and get up, clean up, take a bath, brush our teeth. I ain't brush my motherfucking teeth yet. I was so excited about my damn shoes, hoping that they came. Y'all know how I be when I order some shit. Hoping they ain't come from Shanghai. You feel me like Shan Purse did and now I got throwaway Jordans, but I don't. Cause like I said, Flight Club is clearly on here, boy. It says do not remove tag. This product has been Flight Club approved. It's in that fine red print. So yeah, it's all good. 
I'll holler at y'all. Uh, most of the time when these people be talking, I don't even hear them. I don't. They talk and they talk, but I do not hear shit when I'm near them. I swear to God that I came up. Same stuff, never changed up. Taking shots, get your aim up. Wanna play, get your game up. And I see you hating, so you know I got to ask. You mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for.